This Rewind is brought to you by Shirts. Shirts, I have them now. Hello and welcome to Brave Souls Rewind, the show where I 200 older characters so you don't have to. Today starts off Toshiro week, and I can't think of a better way to start things off than a rewind of one of the very first Toshiros. Now this isn't the metal exchange one, it's the one that we get during Midwinter Mayhem. And he was the closest to 200 when I decided to do this, so that's why I went with him. Like the rest of these videos, I started off with the normal attack damage build, and as you might expect, it wasn't that great. That said, it was a little bit better than I actually thought it was going to be, but part of it is because I had a hollow killer advantage. Still, the overall damage was underwhelming, partially due to the fact that this character has a really low attack, and no actual multipliers. His soul trait is just freeze resistance, and he has no bruiser. So literally the only thing he had going for him was the actual killer. I will say he did have much better range than I initially thought, but in the end, much better is just every other character's normal. With all this said, I suppose you can make a decent build out of this if the attack is high enough, but even if you max out his attack as high as it could go, you just end up with a regular character, so it's really not worth the effort. So yeah, this build is not viable. Next up we have the strong attack damage build, and unlike the normal attack damage where he didn't have a bruiser, he does have a plus 30 berserker, and it definitely showed. His attacks were dealing a bit more damage than I actually thought they were gonna, and it was enough to take out some enemies in a shot. Sadly, Toshiro does suffer from something that some of the other OG characters suffer from as well, and that's the fact that his strong attacks only hit one time. The reason this is a problem is because a lot of characters have guards, and in order to break those guards you're going to have to hit them with at least two hits of your strong attacks. For modern characters, this isn't a problem, since all strong attacks these days hit more than one time anyway. And when you 6 star some of the older characters, they actually end up with Frenzy, doubling each hit per strong attack. Unfortunately, Toshiro didn't get that lucky. Not only that, but the actual damage these strong attacks deal to some of the heavier characters isn't enough to take him out even if they're guarded broken, and you're really stuck just dashing around to your strong attacks come back or using your normal attack which doesn't deal that much damage with this build. Unfortunately, this build is also not viable. Finally, we have the strong attack recharge build, and this is my favorite of the three. You can actually spam your strong attacks, and breaking enemies guards is a lot easier since they come back quicker. Not only that, his strong attacks actually have decent reach. Obviously, it's nothing like modern characters, but for an OG character, it isn't terrible. That said, the damage is awful. This was my favorite build but it took so many strong attacks to take out some enemies, since obviously I replaced all the strong attack damage links with strong attack recharge links. It made it a little bit easier since you can always be knocking enemies on the ground, but it just meant you have to wait for them to get up again so you can hurt them. In the end, this also wasn't a viable build, and this character is not salvageable. So yeah, I know there are other versions of this character, such as the Frenzy one or the actual Metal Exchange character, and some of you might be thinking, maybe the Metal Exchange character is viable. I would say it probably gets a similar result, seeing as the biggest difference is that one has Debilitator while this one has Bombardment. Other than that, the differences are not that great, and Debil alone isn't enough to make him a viable character anyway. So I guess two rewinds in one in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Toshiro Week, so tomorrow there will be another Toshiro related video. It may not be a rewind, or it might be, who knows, I haven't decided yet. Either way, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.